Hello everybody, welcome back to the RimWorld All Passion No Skill Colony, where we have a weird flash storm going on, but I'm not too concerned because our walls are of stone, and screw the environment. Uh, ah, it's over, okay, and Alpha is just ominously walking toward the fire. Don't know too much about him, he's Lucy's husband. But a lot has changed, obviously, so let's recap okay, quick. Okay, so first off, we got some power going on. We got batteries, uh, and then we went for sterile tiles. I might go for more security looking back, but it's fine. We got an infestation uh, outside our home zone, even though that we had walled in the area. I think this is a common misconception, because I mean, either I had misread or not, but yeah, this is going to be super fun later on. Uh, they are a real pest, this infestation. Anyway, we got, uh, we got power going on, so we got some wind turbines. Uh, we kept having Monkey try to escape his prison cell, but he kept attacking this alpaca, but the alpaca was stronger than him, so we just kept arresting him, uh, and he loses almost every single fight that he's in, so it's completely fine. Um, after that, uh, somebody fell out of the sky, but right by the infestation, so we had to go in kind of carefully. Uh, this is, what's her face, Lucy's husband. We, uh, we fixed up our refrigeration, and we're really gonna end up having a surplus of food today. So, it's crazy how quickly things can change once you've got a little bit of technology in RimWorld. Afterward, we hooked up our power grid and did some roof management. And then, what else did I do? Uh, I started micromanaging some of the piles. We have to redo all our kitchen stuff. And although I start off in one spot, it really does take an excessively long time to reallocate all this stuff. The animal new zoning was a win, though. A lot of you guys recommended going out on the fields, and I figure since we have enough animals now, uh, this has actually helped a lot, so I'm grateful for that tip. Uh, after that, it was just more zoning of workshops. We moved our tailoring bench, and we got a new colonist. Uh, we converted one of our prisoners, Senra, who's an ascetic, and he is now our mi or sorry, she is now our miner. Uh, the infestation keeps growing, though. This thing is absolutely insane. Now I see why so many people were really worried about this. But what else do we get? Um, yeah, just more, like, manual work priorities I was arranging. I tried a little bit of kitchen cleanup. Some of the stuff I could not figure out, but I'd say for the most part, uh, we're doing all right in terms of work efficiency. It's still just, like, security, but more on that when I actually start the video. So obviously for right now, there are a lot of different tasks to get to, and I'm not used to managing such a well-run colony, which is welcome, but also terrifying at the same time. So I think what I really need to do at this point is I have a list of tasks that I'm just going to pause and assign all of it so that our colony is in somewhat working order, because right now... There's a lot to be done and a lot of good that could happen, but if I get randomly rained down on by, like, scythers and, uh, I don't know, sentiment, basically anything like this, uh, I'm gonna be screwed. So I want to, like, proceed with caution and prevent extreme optimism from happening. Please don't burn all the traps and come into my base. That would also be nice. Okay, Lucy and the Love Doctor had a social fight. It looks like they just, it's mainly just a random fight. I don't really know how to prevent them. I could get like, you know, capture, arrest them and have them warden each other, which makes them like each other more, but I don't think that I'm going to do that. Anyway, off to the tasks that I wanted to do because our colony is, is good, but it's also very inefficient right now. Okay, I should have noticed this. It looks like Alpha just went back to his tribe. I'm surprised that he left his wife here, Lucy, because I thought that was almost a surefire chance that he would join us, but apparently not. I just had a lot of other things on my mind, and honestly, I'm not even sure that we can deal with another colonist right now. Uh, mainly, I've got Senra mining, so I'm trying to make use of this newfound ability without having him to go too deep under... Well, I am not really particularly concerned about this. Because even if we go underneath the mountain, this area is, after all, refrigerated uh, to a very, very low temperature, which I think should keep infestations from happening. So I'm just going to have Senra keep digging, and then we'll try to manage all the air locks on this. I've got a number of these doors. Uh, I really want to make sure that this place doesn't go down in temperature, but we've also got to keep in mind the fact that as they mine, the temperature's actually gonna go flying out the roof because there is, well, it's, it'll go flying out the roof because there is no roof. 
Okay, so the first main thing that I've done, I couldn't figure out how to get this done with stools, but I have Lee walking the minimum amount to go here. We should also probably finish off this door first, come to think of it, because this is making the room dirty. Uh, and we've got the butcher room in here. I'm not too worried about upping the efficiency of the butchering because he's not going to be doing that much butchering as it stands. So let's just get this door in place. Okay, the other thing that we're doing is to make our butcher zone slightly more efficient. We're not going to be spending too much time here, so I'm not, probably not even going to bother putting down a chair for right now. But we've put down a spot to put to place creatures right here, and I've continued to order them to drop them on the floor. I'm not too worried about food going bad here. Uh, actually, technically right now this area is the refrigerator, and we should probably fix that up. We need wood for that. So, God, Where is this lack of wood coming from? We need more wood. We need some sort of wood operation going, so I've designated a lot of trees. It's just that we're getting these growing pains where, like, there's a couple materials that we don't have access to despite the fact that we're very rich. And I think once we get about three more colonists, everything is going to be completely, like, streamlined. But right now we're right, we're right before that moment. Okay, I really care most in this exact moment about security because our food production is almost completely streamlined. We've almost got refrigeration and everything else going. And heck, we've even got some fine meals coming out, which is crazy good. Um, but we've got random minor break risks just from things that I still need to attend to. We've got Lee who needs to... I, I think I'm just going to have him deconstruct this wall. First off, I'm going to focus on security, then breaks... Actually, breaks, I'm not even going to focus on. I'm just going to have them smoke smoke leaf because it's happening rarely enough that I don't need to worry about addictions. And then we will come back to streamlining and efficiency. Okay, I just thought that this was a special image. This is getting increasingly horrid by the moment. To be completely honest, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I should... <laughs> I, I think fire is ultimately going to be the greatest solution for this thing, but it is getting larger and more out of control. But it's pretty much protecting our, uh, our western flank at this point. They just need to move a little bit further south, and then I don't think they will get any problems from these bugs, and hopefully raiders will just get themselves killed by it. I also don't think that they're going to bother our animals at that great a distance, and we're ultimately going to bring the wall down, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, where is Lee? Okay, he's still focused on cooking. That's fine, because uh, honestly, I've looked at every single other colonist, Senra included, the new one, and you are an ascetic, so do you actually need anything in here? Slept on the ground. Okay, so Senra would like a bed, but pretty much just like a one by two would be fine. This room is expansive, I feel free. Minor pain, why is that? From a stab scar. I wonder if we could do anything about that. Um, give him some Mederma or something like that. Uh... <laughs> At this point, yeah, just more efficiency. Hate to say it, but just more efficiency. Okay, Monkey has gone crazy again, and I'm just going to use Lee to put him down. Uh, really not too afraid of this guy. He's in pretty terrible condition, and he's always in, been in restraints, and Lee has, generally speaking, just become a way better shot. We will leave him there. Hopefully nothing terrible happened to him. But I'm honestly getting tired of this man. He keeps going crazy. Uh, he's going to have a lot of gunshot wounds, but we should also probably prioritize him because he would make our lives a little bit easier. I also made his door out of granite so that he has a harder time escaping from it in case if that happens. Um, let's see, so Lee, you are- okay, he's tending to him, that's fine. And at this point, since we just have so many goddamn marble blocks available, or, you know, I could use limestone- maybe I'll use limestone for this outer wall, because I don't feel like going to get a lot of granite, and granite is kind of a hike. Where- where even is our granite on this map? I honestly don't- uh, maybe is that it? Nope, that's uranium. Maybe I'm just spacing out. Okay, this is granite tile. We could do that, but right now we've just got a lot of these limestone blocks available. So I think I'm going to use those for our outer wall. I will say this. For all the efficiency or the inefficiency going on inside of our base, outside of our base, moving the animals to the outer field was a great move. 
Um, I also put a- why are you not using that lime- okay, because she's taking a combat machinery. I did put a limestone door just so that they have, they have some sort of, like, postern gate, as it were, for them. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot about this, so we wanna also change... The zones, because I've been cha I have a lot of animal zones now, which is actually a fantastic thing to do. I'm gonna give the outer danger zone access to the barn in case if for some godforsaken reason they run out of food. Uh, that is becoming more and more of a problem. I'm gonna have to nuke this place soon. I'm getting really, really nervous just by the number of these things over here. Though they may eventually go through the mountain and start fighting the gazelles and the bear over there, but they won't stand a chance because that's a lot of bugs. I'm, like, I was too scared to do it before because I had only two shooters, but now I'm starting to think it would have been better to just do that. But they are mining away the components for me, which is nice. They are decent miners. But it is doing it again. This problem is getting exponentially worse. <laughs> Like, you ever have something that's so bad that you just laugh at it? <laughs> because you, you don't even know what to do about it. Um, I mean, Molotov, Molotovs, really. Molotovs and grenade launchers in time. This may change some of my technology that I'm researching. I was doing, uh... I mean, I doubt that they'll get through our... I don't, I don't even want to say it, because otherwise I will jinx it, but they may, they may get through our walls. With that many bugs, it's going to be like Thermopylae, except we won't win. Okay, so I've been looking into the possibility of creating Mol <laughs> of creating Molotov cocktails because this problem is going to get exponentially worse. I've decided I see no limit to to Rimworld's extreme hatred for me. Uh, <laughs> this is really the only bad thing that's happened, and considering the fact that it is fairly remote, I am slightly less scared. Uh, but this is not good by any means. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are over ten uh, mega spiders in here, and they are very, very strong, and we have three traps, so we will not survive that. Um, and the research that we need to make the Molotov is going to be machining, so I think what I might end up doing, uh, is taking a page out of some of your guys' book who said to do microelectronics, maybe soon, sterile materials turned out not to be so great. Thought we were going to be worried more about efficiency. Geothermal power can wait as well. I think maybe machining only because these Molotovs are going to be so absolutely important right now. Then, maybe afterward, uh, microelectronics. I know we could get it from that, but I just see the 3,000 research as being a long ways away. So at this point, uh, I, 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 I don't know, it's, it's almost as if there's too many tasks for too few people. It's, it's still really the same problems as you have with one single colonist. I'm just wondering if we could somehow charge all of the animals at them in some way, because the animals are the white elephant, not the white elephant, yeah, they are the white elephant in here. I don't really need them, but they're large and they are boisterous and good in that way. So I, I could see a massive animal charge at these things just to at least thin out their numbers if it does become too bad. But we have to start thinking. And fire knows no limits to its power. And fire is... I mean, and mega spiders are unintelligent, so they can't behave like raiders. Okay, we're having human friend going off on another smoke leaf binge, since it's only- I don't- I think it's just chemical interests that are causing this? He's not even in a bad mood. It must just be the chemical interest that's doing this, so I was not aware of this problem. But, uh, it is happening right now, because he was not even in a bad mood. He's just turning to this kind of, like, wealthy life of smoking smoke leaf every single day. <laughs> that's exactly how it was said. Anyway, um... We have only one smoke leaf joint for him to smoke, so I've intentionally kind of limited or lowered the amount of that that they're going to have available. There's about five, and there's two people with chemical interests, so hopefully he will not develop uh, an addiction to it.
Okay, I will say one thing. Although we need Lee cooking right now because we have no one else who's a cook, and if food breaks down, then our co entire colony is going to go crazy and destabilize, so I wouldn't dream of taking him off of cooking right now. Uh, I would like to have him as a shooter or something like that, only because he's very, very good at everything, and we don't really have too many warriors. Uh, but ultimately, if you do have a character with all passions, as some of you guys have pointed out, um, it is really good to have him on a skill that he can just grind and grind and grind constantly, like construction, plants, he would be a really good planter. Uh, so that's the reason why, I mean, doing this entire series has made me more aware of this double burning passion and just how friggin' brokenly powerful it is. Uh, because he, he can just get to 20 in like no time with this skill set. Uh, so for right now I'm still okay with him doing some of these tasks. And since he's been traveling halfway across the map to get fine meal ingredients and nobody's been hauling because there's just too much distance to go over, I think I'm just going to have him focus on getting this other wall done. Because this one's safe-ish, but this one is still, it's, it's not there yet, it needs to be. Okay, we just had a roof collapse. This is actually fantastic. It wasn't our roof, but it was one of the mega spiders' roofs. So maybe they'll all have the mountain cave in over themselves because they are directly underneath the mountain and they're going deeper into the mountain. Um, I'm trying to think of some way that I could make this into a furnace and burn them all. And <laughs> that's usually a fairly reliable way to do it. I could like expand these walls around. Uh, then throw fire into, you know, throw chairs and other wooden things. I could set the entire forest over here on fire, but that seems like an awful lot of work to do for what I think a simple Molotov would do the trick for. So let's just keep on working towards the Molotovs. It looks like we're about to get sterile materials and then focus on our other defenses and then efficiency. Okay, we finished research on sterile materials, so we can use these for our kitchen, our hospital, and our research area. So now I'm going to go head back into the research screen, and we are going in fast motion. I do not want to do that. Uh, I want to I want to do machining, but we need smithing before that, so that's going to need 1,700. Whereas microelectronics would give us access to trade for most things, and we'd also be able to get rid of a lot of stuff. That's another 1,300 experience. So... I think I should do it because we need only a few Molotovs and otherwise we would need to do all of this other work to get Molotovs. So I think I'm going to just, you know what, I'm just going to go straight in for it. Microelectronics, because it's probably, and it's also going to give us a swath of other research options too, which many of which are very, very advanced. So we'll focus Aura's efforts on that. Um, we might also, ooh, a, that is a blinking cow. Uh, we might also end up moving Lee over to do a lot of the research because he's the, I believe Aura does not learn with a burning passion, but with only a normal passion. So Lee would actually be a fantastic researcher if we could get him to do that. Um, I mean, honestly, doing this has just made me focus everything on long term. Like, anybody with a burning passion, it's like, okay, you do that. It's like running a pirate ship. Or a regular ship for that. But most ships are pirate ships. So that's important. Um, anyway, I don't know about my food layout. I, th I think most other things are pretty sensible here, but if anything really stands out to you as being nonsensical, then let me know. Okay, this is not good because of his chemical interest. Human friend has started developing a smoke leaf tolerance. So fortunately, I think everyone's too booked up with tasks that they're not... Uh, that they're not busy with this. I, at least I think I'm interpreting this correctly. He's tending to monkey. Okay, monkey- and monkey's actually at- well, he's gonna be a 90% difficulty to recruit, so he's gonna be very difficult to bring him in, but we did bring down his resistance, so we can start getting to work on that, and I do have that checked off with him, right? Yep, okay, so we are trying to recruit this man. Recruit this man! Uh, afterward... I don't- I, I don't really know. Maybe I should just completely make drugs inaccessible to them or something, like build a wall around it, and then only when somebody really needs, uh, like, I don't know, a smoke leaf joint, then I could break down a wall to let them get to it. Otherwise, I can't think of a, uh, I don't know, one of the guys who's built up a tolerance clawing down a wall in order to do that. But that's kind of crazy. 
Okay, I've noticed that Lee goes to get milk a lot because he needs to use it for various things. So I'm putting in one more zone for animal products over here where I think it'll leave milk. And Monkey has honestly just been one medical emergency after another after another. <laughs> this guy's going to be insane to have. We're going to have to have him on a separate policy because he has... Uh, what, what, is his, what is his deal again? He's very neurotic, which is not great, but it's also going to make him a faster worker. It would also be nice to have a constructor, and this is probably on the mega scale. Oh, God, look at him go. Fortunately, I have not seen the... There is really no fortunes. <laughs> That's just a lot of them. Though, I don't know, maybe they're starting to reach some sort of population cap. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bug hives. But you know what? They've not yet bothered us, or surprisingly, not our animals. Alright, although off the top of my head, don't know if I'm missing something, I cannot unfortunately locate any silver on the map. Uh, we are starting our construction with the sterile tiles. It's going to... Uh, I don't remember whether it speeds cooking or not, but it's also going to just keep our rooms clean, and I think it does speed the speed of research. So we'll put it in the research room, and also just limit it by uh, putting in some extra wood walls too, just so it's not overusing the wood tile, because how much silver do we even have? I don't even believe that we have quite that much. We have 219, and each tile is worth... 12 silver so it's actually quite a lot of silver that we're using up to make these places and i may just want to pick one room or the other but i don't, I don't know it's, it's good to have my work laying out before me so i at least know what i'm working toward okay we've had more roof collapses on these mega scarabs so i think that i think just as they mine deeper into this mountain eventually maybe they'll all just kill themselves i don't know it's kind of it's, it's kind of like amusingly fun to look at too Amusingly fun, uh, not, not amusingly fun, all fun is amusing. Uh, it's fun in a sickly way because they're so dis- it's kind of like watching an ant hill, you know, like when all the ants come out of it. It's exciting, and I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm also terrified of it. Yet more roof collapses, they are killing themselves as they go through the mountain. This is actually fantastic. I don't know if it stay- if it just continues to collapse there, but it looks like actual chunks of mountain are starting to rain down on the mega spiders. So, maybe they'll start to crush their hives? Don't know, haven't- it's more of just an experiment right now. Um, honestly, I may just be able to cohabitate with them in a, for a very long time. Uh, though they will start to kill off the wildlife, and that is probably not a good thing. Oh, they are all migrating this way! That's terrible. I am now scared. I've never seen... <laughs> it's like Lawrence of Arabia. Jesus. Oh my god. That's an army. Okay, we need to we need to address this problem ASAP. We need to get that microelectronics research, so I'm gonna pour everything now. Uh, because we have a massive food surplus. This is more than we will ever need. Well, ideally we would have a trader come along with some Molotovs. But that was like... that was like their ultimatum. Like, don't fuck with us. <laughs> so... Uh, um, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna have Lee get that sterile tile in here ASAP, because we need this room to be clean so that we can speed up the research. I probably won't have Lee do the re- I probably won't have Lee do any research, because we need a cook. If we don't have a cook, the entire colony's gone. Um, and then afterward... <laughs> I don't know. Finish that up. Oh, new recruit! Okay, so we got- Ah, oh, this is great. Okay, we got Monkey to join. This is exactly what I was waiting for. So he's a great constructor. This is fantastic. That way I can focus Lee on all of his other stuff, and Monkey's actually a double passion constructor. So now we can have him work on the walls, so we have nothing left to fear, you know, quote, quote unquote, nothing left to fear from the mega spiders. He's actually gonna work faster, so we'll try to give him a couple of smoke leaf joints as he could- Why are the smoke leaf joints in here? Um, we'll try to give him a couple smoke leaf joints if he needs that, and we'll also make a manual drug policy just so that he can get his work done. We want this guy to just be madly constructing as much as possible, because he's going to be the one I'm micromanaging now instead of Lee. 
Okay, I think that this one last colonist is just gonna put us over the edge to the point where now we won't ha I won't have to think as much about micromanaging. I can just order the assignment of all the major product, the, yeah, all the major projects, because I spend most of my time working with the constructor since we've pretty much automated all the planting. You know, human friend has been doing this over here without me having to touch any of his business at all. Uh, I've, I've not had to worry about anything that he's done. Senra has been taming the animals, and the animals are now like a, f like a giant workforce. Though they are also not really hauling very much at all. Ta training alpaca the lot. Yeah, you know, the reason I can't have these guys in here is because they'll eat the food. I would need to micromanage their zones. It would be nice if we had a lot of dogs that could do it, but that's fine. Let's just follow Monkey around for some of his tasks. And I also should probably name some of these people, too. Okay, I thought of a couple names. As several of you guys mentioned in a video a few uh, weeks ago, I made, or a week ago or so, I made Aura the second part of Raborealis. So she's now Raborealis for Aurora Borealis. And since Monkey is very good at constructing, and that's pretty much all I'm going to have him do, I named him Unionize Me because he deserves to be in a union. Uh, <laughs> at this point... Lee's staying Lee, Lee's playing horseshoes, Lee's probably going to be a lot more... Oh, he lost his sensory mechanites, I completely missed that. Uh, but he's probably going to be much more stable since I won't have to be ordering him around so much. And we'll just try to meet everybody else's individual needs, but unionize me should take this colony now from the ground way, way, way up. Because he's a fantastic constructor already, and unlike many of my other colonists, does not need a lot of work in that direction. Okay, one thing I've done is to just make sure that in our airlock, because I've got the the air, the hot air blowing out, I've got one part unroofed. This means that this area won't get too hot as they walk through it. Uh, I'm really, I don't see them going through the kitchen to, uh... You know, ultimately I might end up moving this in the kitchen just because I, I, I want there to be a double airlock. But this room itself is kind of like an airlock in that way. You know, ideally, and if you aren't familiar with how insulation works, it, it works very similarly to, to how it does in real life in the game. That you need air pockets between things in order to, uh, you know, keep the temperature from growing down. That's how you, that's how you create insulation. We have everything else roofed, so there's nothing getting out of the fridge. It's actually, what is, what is the temperature in here? Um, 31, ooh, that's not good. Actually, why is it that high up? Wow, I gotta be really careful. Well, we aren't even at risk of infestations, but we shouldn't have that there because... Why are these frozen? Alright, I'm gonna check this out. One second. Okay, I don't know if I'm reading the temperatures wrong, but I think... Maybe I just don't have enough power? Like, I, I gotta figure out why my... why this thing is not working, but... Anyway, the frozen food is not such a worry because we actually have a massive food surplus, and this is still frozen and it's not even under a mountain yet. So we shouldn't be at any risk of something like this happening. But now I see why so many of you guys warned me so, like, gruesomely about infestations happening under in my base. Anyway, it looks like Lee's actually managed to find more time for construction, which is quite ironic. Where is he even... Lee, where are you keeping the meals, man? I do not know where he's keeping the meals. Okay, he is, he is to cook only right now. Okay, we got a trader coming through. This is a big deal because we have a lot of stuff we got to get rid of and we got to uh, get. Hopefully to kill those mega spiders. So I'm hoping that they don't kill the trader as she comes through. And by the name Rutherford, not some sort of sign. Who was Rutherford again? There, there were several Ruth Rutherfords throughout history. But hopefully she will, she is very well dressed, you know? She has a triple rocket launcher. Would be great if we could somehow get her aggro toward these people, but who ro roams the world with a triple rocket launcher to defend themselves? Don't know, but I c I'm trying to think of a way to get her to... Nah, I, I can't think of it right now. Honestly, we could probably just set this, this place on fire somehow. Okay, so it seems like she has this triple rocket launcher that she's willing to trade. We're gonna take that because we need it to get rid of this infestation. I, that just seems too good to pass up. Uh, and I'm in exchange going to give her all of our cowboy attire. Hopefully that will be enough because we can always make this stuff back up, but it's much harder 
to make a triple rocket launcher. Okay, I mean, call me crazy, she won't take all of our animals, uh, but she'll take all of our clothes, she'll take our bow, I'm gonna have to get rid of the penoxicillin, I think it's penoxicillin, I've seen penicillin, so I, I think it's penoxicillin, but I may be an idiot on that, I'm gonna give her our joints, I'm gonna give her our medicine too, and I don't want to give her too many components, but I'm gonna sell some of them away because I need this rocket launcher and it's all so fun! Okay, uh, who is our best shooter, they are just going to shoot directly at those infestations that we're also going to need to trap this entire wall and bring in the animals and put them all on weast before we let them attack okay oddly enough senra is just as good a shot as lee but for the life of me i think it's going to be easier to remember if lee has the triple rocket launcher in his hands uh because he's the main character it's also going to put him at risk but you know what i'm like screw it he could do it anyway uh, as soon as they finish off the wall now, and we'll give Senra his pistol, because that was a pretty friggin' good auto pistol. Uh, and maybe regulating a few more moods. I really think that this is a bit more urgent than I've made it out to be, because I keep hearing sounds from over here, and I'm freaked out by it. And as soon as we finish more of this wall, just because there's gonna be a massive backlash, I'm gonna have Lee burn down the forest and take out the infestation. Goodbye, Rutherford. Thank you for your triple, triple rocket launcher. As for Lee, he's gonna finish off these- Okay, we need more wood. I'm just gonna cut down the last few trees since we're probably gonna be burning down this forest. It's important that we get what trees remain out of it now. And I honestly think if we have one more colonist, I might just assign them mainly to plant cutting because wood has been a weirdly uh, scarce resource. Ever since I've had everybody doing everything else, now we're even getting a lot of stone blocks, but I still want to have wood doors before we get auto doors, so it's gonna be a massive replacement project, but at the same time, it's kind of essential right now. Anyway, finish this off, get maybe 10 traps there. That might not be enough. I might want to keep on going. And there's another exotic goods trader. Oh, we don't really have much to do left, so let's just see what he has, if he has anything else that could possibly save us from this menace, and then go on. Okay, I like some of the stuff that this trader has, but uh, even the advanced components would be nice, but I don't really want to give up our animals. Uh, so I think I'm just going to let this trader pass. Now at this point, we're pretty much there. I don't want to construct an entire wall of traps, so what I'm going to have Lee do is this. As soon as he cooks this one last meal, you're getting drafted, son. Okay, I'm uh, bringing you out here. And I'm just gonna start shooting the forest. Hopefully it will set everything on fire and they won't take vengeance on me because they won't be able to trace me as the cause of their extreme terrible lives. Which they're all about to burn. Okay, Lee, fire near the bug nest. Hopefully we could just set the woods on fire. Wow, he gets three rounds there from that. Okay, so he just destroys everything. Uh, I'm looking for fire. I'm looking for fire, Lee. Wow. Did not know that was how triple ragged launchers worked. I feel like a complete idiot. I can't go back now <laughs> because I didn't know that it was a one-shot item. I probably should have read, read up on that. But we just lost our rocket launcher. But mm, there is no redeeming side to this. I don't know. If we had fired directly on them, I'm not sure that would have been enough to take them all out because even 10 of these things would still be too many. So uh, I don't know. Fuck, um, Molotovs anyway. Molotovs anyway, we'll just keep working toward it. I, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. Would have been fun, but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. Okay, and we got a siege. So this should be crazy. They are probably gonna kill us all. Ah, uh, God. Uh, what do they, what do they have? They have bolt action rifle, wooden mace, revolver, pump shotgun, Molotov cocktail. Ah, uh, can you just get killed? All right, please get killed by the mega spiders. Now, fortunately, we have traders visiting us right now, so they're pretty much gonna be our entire army when we're doing this. But let's bring all the animals in. I still really don't feel prepared for this at all. Let's bring them all into Weast. Okay, great, so they can be our backup defenses, but we also wanna close that gate so that they don't end up using that. Well, we are getting sieged. Molotov cocktails, steel knife, pump shotgun, granite club. Let's also draft everyone. Is this going to make anyone go crazy? No, we've been having enough smoke leaf that no one will go crazy. 
Should be okay for a little while. And Senra, ooh, Senra's over there. Ah, uh, that is not good. That is not particularly good at all. Okay, hopefully Senra will not use that gate in time. But let's just see if they somehow manage to anger the... Mmm. You know what? Now that I see their pathing, I see how we're going to get rid of these mega spiders without ever having to fight them. And we're going to build a- we're going to have to build a wall over here. Oh, there are more of you. Great, okay. Great. Oh, great, okay, so they are fighting the mega sp- <laughs> This is perfect. This is perfect. Oh, but they're going to start mortaring our base, too. That's not going to be very good. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is somehow bringing this mega spider menace on them before they come in. So I'm going to try shooting at the mega spiders and bringing them closer over to here and then as the mega spiders are going this way, these attackers will shoot the mega spiders and then we run away. <laughs> Uh, come to think of it, we'd probably better do this with only one person, because this could quickly turn very, very south in a second. Let's do it with Human Friend. He's a poor shot- he's a poor shot with a long-range rifle. We will run over- we will stay out of their way while they're setting up. Everybody else is back here. Okay, you follow me? Human Friend, you go over here. Take a shot at the Mega Spiders. This could backfire very horribly. Have them come over here. Okay, good. We've woken them up from their sleep. And now uh, somehow we're going to need to... Let's just have you shoot. We gotta aggro them. We gotta aggro them. <laughs> Hopefully they will all start charging. I want them all to start charging across the field, so let's shoot deep into their nest. Okay, it seems that we've woken up the mega spiders, but they are still over there. Uh, and also our enemies have better range than us, so they are now shooting at the mega- Great! Okay, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Great, look at them go! <laughs> Charge, my mega spiders! I knew you would come in handy for me somehow. <laughs> Play like Flight of the Valkyries. Oh, that is awesome! I live for this. Okay, everybody go back to bed. <laughs> Suckers! Get owned by my mega spider bodyguards, turning randy random negative events into good things. Yeah, they're assaulting the colony, but we're coming- <laughs> Look, this guy's just boozing out before he- Oh no, that's Molotov cocktails. And I think that this guy just dropped Molotov cocktails on the ground, so no, they are attacking us. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, fortunately we have these traitors here, so everyone could probably just stay in bed if the mega spiders come to us. Shit. <laughs> They fuck them up! That is great, okay. We have so much loot from them, but unfortunately we cannot get it. They brought beer to attack, it was like a big tailgate. Alright, uh, I honestly think that the... Shit, they know that we attack them. Uh, okay, you know what? Everybody... ...is getting drafted. Again. The animals are all staying on weast. Despite the fact that the animals are asleep, I'm just gonna wake up the animals for a second with this. Wow, this is feeling more like an RTS at this point. Let's just have the animals all go east. Okay, great, now we'll go back to east. <laughs> okay, now everybody in our colony now. Unfortunately, we do not have any other preparations for this. They will not be long for these traps. And they all just randomly fell asleep right in front of our ba- Ooh, no, 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 that's bad. Okay, but these traitors should be able to save our lives. Wow, no, don't go there, Patty. Ah, shit. Okay, this is quickly backfiring. Let's just use the animals to our advantage to not get killed. And there's a fire. Who gives a shit? Uh... Now, let me just... I'm not allocating any of my resources in this fight because I was not prepared to have my colonists fight at all. As you may recall. Lee is still without an auto pistol. Wow. Uh, we have no ranged weapons. It is just beginning to occur to me. We need to start creating ranged weapons because we are very far behind in terms of tech. Um, I don't really know what else to do. I don't want to have them all start fighting them with melee, but maybe if we start ganging up on them group by group, we'd be better off. 
Let's just gang up on a few of the Mega Spiders. Let's also have our shooters make sure that we don't kill our uh, melee fighters. It looks like Lee is just going bare-fisted. Let's have him equip that Limestone Club. Unionize Me also does not have a weapon. That's bad in general. Lucy, you go over here and get that Mega Spider. No, don't want you fighting a Mega Spider. You could fight that little one. Raborealis? Okay, they're going after Mega Gulp. Oh shit, they killed all the traitors. Wow, this is becoming more and more awesome. Okay, uh, you know what, plan B. Let's lead him back out here. Because they are killing the Love Doctor, no. Bessie the Cow is in trouble. Born to be wild, you are not doing anything in this conflict. Ah, uh, god, wait a minute, let's just see the animals. Okay, they took down Comment, the IFX Ram. This is getting better and better. I'm just gonna let them take the base, honestly, because we're better off with that than... The Love Doctor is getting fucked up by somebody. Emergency Meal, the Gazelle has been killed by one of these Mega Scarabs. Yep, this is not going well. Wow, wow. Well, Red the Bull made it out alive. Did Mega Gulp the... No, Mega Gulp did not make it out. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, wait a minute. I have another idea. Human friend? Oh, wait, no. Who's the fastest walker among us? Lee, you're going in for a mission now? You're gonna go grab those Molotov cocktails. Man, really wish I had messed up that. Now, did they create the mortar? They did not create a mortar. Now, these Mega Scarabs should just continue kiting around a bit. Love Doctor, are you gonna die? You might be dead. Yep, she got bit all over by Mega Spiders, and it looks like Unionized Me is- Well, he also got bit by a Mega Spider mouth. Um... I don't know what they're gonna go after next. I guess they're gonna go after my colonists, so I think I'm just gonna run everybody out here. I might create a few- no, shit. Fuck. Uh, okay, you know what? The best idea here that we can do is to just go after our raiders' weapons. And then hopefully use those to kill the Mega Spider Menace that is now in our base. Oh, good. They're just actually randomly attacking most of the base stuff. Okay, so then let's do this. We're going to set up a sleeping zone here just so that they can tend to each other. Because the Love Doctor, we don't want her to get killed. We don't want to put anybody back in the base. So let's get furniture. Let's get a couple sleeping spots right here. We're going to make these into medical spots. Uh, Love Doctor, why don't you rest until healed, and then who else needed to rest? Unionize me. Okay, you rest until healed. Uh, who is our next best doctor? I believe Human Friend is a decent doctor. It's fine, let's just have him do this. Tend to the Love Doctor, and then who is... Nope, don't use medicine. Okay, let's just take her off of medicine for a second. Uh, no medicine, and no... Ooh. Shit, there we go. Okay, no medicine. Human friend, you go tend to... Can't repair a sleeping spot. Okay, feed unionize me. I may be fucking this up. Everybody else go get the weapons. That's probably a bigger deal here than recovering from a few mega spider bites. Okay, they are just ripping apart everything inside of our base. I don't like this, but our base is currently being set on fire, which I honestly think is the best possible thing that could have had. And Training Llama miscarried. Well, that was gonna happen. I bet a lot worse stuff is about to come, too. Alright, these two... You know, I'm drafting them. Am I gonna draft them? Oh, yes, there are Mega Spiders standing right next to them, so I definitely want to draft them. Let's get them out of there. The Love Doctor may not make it. And now, at this point, Lee? Am I in time? Okay, he's, I'm paused, so these two are coming over here. I'm just gonna have Lee torch their entire nest. They'll probably get fucked up by the fire that's coming through my base, and it looks like they're stupidly spreading back out through. And then we will have tackled the Mega Spider Menace that has destroyed our entire base. Well, unfortunately, it is raining right now, so, I mean, this came at a terrible time. This is just kind of, you know, I guess Randy Random trying to get me killed. I'm guessing that since it's underneath a mountain, uh, the fire is still going to spread here, but we're just going to try to torch this base. Right now, Lee, go in there. Don't miss, man. Okay. All right, he's pretty much done with that. Let's just do another round of that right on this one. 
Hopefully those fires will spread, and then at this point I'm gonna have him just save a couple. And it looks like there's more medicine over here, so I can heal some of the wounds on Unionize Me and the Love Doctor. Okay, so I'm now using our invader's attack area to hopefully... Lucy, the rec okay, she was supposed to be resting, as was the love doctor, but at this point, the entire thing is pretty much just in shambles. The pretty much everything has been destroyed. Uh, it looks like the scarabs are coming back out, or the mega spiders are coming back out to their place. We're gonna just try to hold the line right here for a moment, and I'm gonna have Lee just continue to burn down their home so that when they get back, there's at least a wall of fire between me and them. Okay, this could- this rain could not have possibly come at a worse time. But for right now, uh... I don't really know what else to do. Honestly, we're- we are just- we are a little bit fucked. I don't want to tend to the wounded. She, the love doctor's gonna die in five hours if we don't get her some medicine. Lee just got bruised. Human friend actually managed to escape like five mega spiders running- there are about ten mega spiders running toward this man right now. I I, I I don't know what to say. Did not expect this to happen, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna try to hold this line at this point because I don't really see the point in running around anymore. I could run them back to our base, but all the fires are just going out, so I'm just trying to have Lee create a wall of fire between us and them. Human friend, keep running away. Lee, keep running back. Okay, at this point, we have lost the line. There's still more mega spiders coming after us. I'm just gonna retreat now back to the wildlife and see if the animals will do anything to defend us because I can't really do anything here. Uh, Love Doctor- where are you going, Love Doctor? She's beating out a fi- okay, she's gotta get drafted. Yeah, we are losing people left and right. That is not good. Love Doctor's down. Raborealis, okay, death mega- all the animals are dead at this point. They are all getting killed. Man, that's ironic that we had to sh torch this place right now. Uh, gazelles, save me! Can I get them to fight that guy? Oh, no. Custer's last stand. No, this is crazy! This is insane! How many mega spiders is that? Oh, man. Can I just get Lee to live alone? If he- if I could get him to be the last one standing, we'd actually be okay. Ah, uh, you know what? He could- he could torch these trees. Can he lead all of them through it? If he can do this at this point, it would be crazy. That way they all go on fire. Nope. He can't get out of there. Can I send him off in a caravan for a second? Possibly. Let me just see this. Okay, I have one last chance. One last chance. Set off a caravan to go somewhere. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. Damn. Human friend is still up. <laughs> where- where is he? Oh, somehow he managed to avoid them. Well, he's just getting mauled by a mega spider now. Fuck. That is crazy. Sensing trouble, a mysterious man in black has arrived. Will he be able to set things in, to the right in these parts? Lucky? What the fuck is that? I've never even met a guy like this. Who the hell is- is this God? <laughs> All the animals died, everybody's got mauled by mega spiders. I don't even know what the fuck to do. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Who is this man? Shelter child, fast walker, staggeringly- this is God. This is somehow God. Okay, you know what? Let's just see. Because this could be our only hope. If he could save Lee, then that's a- that's a win. That's a win. Everybody died except for some mysterious stranger in Lee. I would buy that. I would buy that. I- I don't know what to say. If they go home, their- all of their nests are burned at this point, but all my colonists are dying. It's- it's not even worth it if I can't save Lee. But let's just see how the mega spiders react to this new guy joining our colony. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. It looks like 
the mega spiders are gonna go and try to kill unionize me but unionize me this is inhumane i know but i've got to see if i can rescue at least somebody so i'm gonna have lucky no lucky's also getting swarmed by mega scarabs who is this man this guy's weird it looks like the mega spiders are still angry at me because i shot their nest and destroyed their home at this point, I don't think that this man can do anything here. I'm just going to keep running him out. See if he can even survive this. <laughs> Start over with one more guy. Can you imagine? That would be insane. No, like, and Red Bull died, and subscribe died too. <laughs> Unionize me is back down on the ground because the Mega Spiders just insisted on taking him out. I, I don't even know what to do. I think I'm just gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait a day and see if the Mega Spiders continue going after Lucky. Because everybody else at this point is dead. Lee is on the other side of the map. He can't get to him. If Lee could survive this, I would say it was fine, but... Let's just see if he even survives at all. Okay, all of the Mega Spiders are streaming in toward Lucky. They're all just... I've just, like, taken a quick scan of the map, and it looks like they're... Pretty much 95% of them are going after him. Some of them are falling asleep. But he's also still sh Ooh, yeah, that's not good. So when I shoot one of them, the entire group is aggroed up. Okay, let's just see if we can dodge you out from among these. You should be able to make it back in through that gate before they overwhelm you. <laughs> oh, shit, Jesus. Okay, my one last hope is to have Lucky save Lee. If he doesn't save Lee, it's over. Everybody else has died. <laughs> or everybody else is dying, but Lee's gonna die in, I don't know, I guess a couple more hours. But it seems like the Mega Spiders have calmed down, and they aren't gonna kill him. And we've taken out enough of their nests that at this point, we could always go back, get those Molotovs, and then burn out the rest of them. Senra's, Senra's, Senra's dead at this point. Lucky just save Lee, man. That's you're his only hope. There's a cougar running around among all the animal corpses. Lee has died. Right after right before he got him into bed. I, I could have put down a sleeping spot and gotten the medicine. I think that might have saved him. I don't even know though. I mean, would it have been worth it if all my colonists had survived? Now we've just this guy may as well be the Grim Reaper. This has been the weirdest RimWorld playthrough I've ever had. I've learned so goddamn much. Uh, let's go back into it. I mean, he probably could have saved Lee. I, I'm just not thinking straight at this point. Probably we could have put down a spot there for healing. But I expected more of the Mega Spiders to like bother him if he had put down a sleeping spot right there. But that probably would have helped his... Uh, I don't know his uh, his resistance to the to death from happening. Um, how good a doctor was this guy anyway? Yeah, he could have done that. Staggeringly ugly fast walker. Well, the fast walker helped him in the end. Uh, honestly, if I hadn't fucked up with that rocket launcher, I don't know if it would have worked, but I bet you I would have angered a lot of mega spiders. Uh, we got really really close to taking them out. I honestly didn't expect them to be able to take out that many raiders and that many traders and all of my animals and all of my colonists though when i think back to it my colonists were not armed well and i guess in the end i probably would have i probably would have had them like uh i don't know i, I would have given them more ranged weaponry because i don't want them to all be in melee combat but damn i mean if, if we had invested in Molotovs or some sort of, like, fire-making earlier, but they were all just getting aggroed. There were so many of them, they started reproducing so fast. And for all the good luck that we had, I would say that was one very, very terrible thing. Um, what I should have done, I think now, would have just been to wait for the raiders a little bit longer. But honestly, that Mega Spider menace, there were way too many of those things. That was insane. I think then we could have used the Molotovs and just set the like the forest on fire and then gotten them. But I'm like I'm happy with this was a classic RimWorld playthrough. That's exactly how everything should pe play out. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of different stuff for the next time. Anyway, um, 
We're definitely doing another playthrough. I don't know what it's going to be. I think it might be, like, Beastmaster or something like that. Uh, just because we had so many ridiculous animals this time. But I'm not going to continue with this one guy, Lucky. Would be funny if he could bring everybody back from the dead, but I really... Uh, it would be like starting a new colony. Uh, there's a lot of other efficiency stuff. I <laughs> Like the mega, mega spiders go on. A lot of other efficiency stuff I probably would have thought through earlier. Mainly like that workshop... The way that it works. Uh, and I honestly might have just gone for a nutrient paste dispenser. I think Lee spent way too much time cooking. Uh, and I've never tried a nutrient paste dispenser before. But it is really a full-time job. That and just getting one constructor and one planter would have been great. But honestly, those things reproduce fast. And I also realized, too, that uh, infestations can happen in non-home zones. That was not a home zone, but it did happen there. So, honestly, I'm probably just going to be filling up as many mountain spaces as I can in the future. Anyway, uh, let me know what other kinds of playthroughs you guys want to see next. And I will do them, or I will consider them. And, uh, I'm gonna try to get back to every comment, but it's been, it's been a lot of comments. I can hardly manage them all. Uh, thank you so much for all the good tips. I'm really, really grateful. I even had somebody who has been playing for, like, 500 hours tell me that they learned something, and I've been playing for only, like, 100, 120 now. So, that's honestly bananas to me. Anyway, Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next RimWorld series. Bye-bye.